Good morning, my friends. Today is Thursday, October 27th, and I'm here with you at the rising of the sun. My little cat is purring and giving herself a bath. Hello, sweetheart. You're going to say hello? It's a beautiful morning for you. Yes. And I have with me this beautiful depiction of Blackwater Falls by Doug Eng. Light pouring down, flowing, radiant. A stark contrast to the dark rock behind it. It is so thin, it's like clouds, mists. The flow of life, our blood flowing through our veins, our hearts pumping, water flowing through this planet. It's all part of how God created us. A beautiful movement and dance. Flow. We continue in chapter 12 of the book of Revelation with a really telling piece. Michael is fighting the dragon. Michael is the archangel, the protector of Israel in the Hebrew scriptures. Michael wins the battle and he casts the dragon down. He throws him down multiple times. It says throws him down, throws him down, throws him down. And the devil is thrown down to earth where he is angry because his time is short. Well, this is an essential piece in the book of Revelation. The kingdom of God has been won over. Christ reigns in heaven. The devil has been cast down here to earth where he roams about wreaking havoc because he knows his time is short. He, know, he knows Christ is coming again. And so he tries to ruin our lives by using three things, deceit, self-loathing, so lying, self-hatred, and killing. And who does the devil go after but those who love Jesus, the children of God? And so this incredible vision tells us a deep truth that here on earth there is a force of darkness that is rampant and it is going after us. You can hear it in your minds, your self-criticism. You can hear it in the forces of addiction that lie to people and tell them they need another drink or they need another hit. It lies to us. I sometimes wonder if we are given these glasses to see through and they cause a, our vision to be distorted so that Democrats look at Republicans and think they're crazy and evil. Republicans look at Democrats and think the same thing. Something is interfering with our communication. Something is in the midst of us, driving us apart. And if you begin to look at it from the perspective of there being a third party involved, some kind of darkness, whatever you call it, it changes the way you see things and you're able to love even those with whom you disagree or who, who really even trouble you, not to love their actions or even their words, but to love them as humans, as children of God. And so this dragon is thrown down to earth where he roams about having a temper tantrum of sorts because his time is short and that's the best news of all. Whatever is going on here on this earth, whatever, battles and brokenness and darkness, it's not going to last. It's not the end of the story. The story has already been written. The battle has already been won. We're just at the very end with a sore loser. Let us pray. Almighty God, we ask that you would help us understand 
what is happening in our lives from a theological perspective, to understand that we are part of cosmic forces that defy explanation, to understand that we are called to serve you, but that in this life things will be hard, difficult. But in the end, the good news is already there and you love us and that is all we need to know. We ask you, Lord, today to bless the sick, to bless those who are dying, to bless the hungry, the addicted and mentally ill, those who are homeless, those who are lost. Lord, guide us today to do your will in all that we undertake. Give us strength and courage to serve you. Bring peace to this world, Lord Christ. Bring us peace. Amen. God bless you. Have a great day.